When he was diagnosed with it and at three years old, I cried and cried and cried. Didn't know, you know, what I was looking forward to, did not have any idea, you know, how his life was going to be. Am I going to be able to raise, you know, a, an independent uh, individual to be, you know, self-sufficient in this world? And I was very scared. I rallied the help and support of family. That's very, very important. And just raising awareness to those around you to accept him. We did not find out about the Asperger's, which is the broad spectrum autism, until last year when Jalen began having a lot of sensory issues and getting overstimulated. And and he was very precise in his speech and just about certain things. And and the way that he, Jalen has a way with words with describing things. Uh, For instance, you and I can go to Disney World and say, you know, my feet are tired or my feet hurt, and Jalen would say, you know, my feet are angry. Uh, he, he just has a different way of, of describing things. So once you're around him, though, you fall in love with him. He is, he is really smart despite the, uh, the disabilities that he has, and he has a passion. People love him, and it not all ter- that's not, a, that's not a, uh, just a Tourette trait because I've met other people with Tourette's who aren't that way. Um, Dash is the closest person that I've ever met to Jalen uh, as far as sim- and similar disabilities. Uh, they both are, are like twins, which is why Dash is, is so close to us. And, and Dash helps me a lot. I mean, I don't have any other adults that I go to as far as Tourette's. As Dash told you, it does subside a lot in adults. Um, however, Dash does still have it. You can see it. Uh, when you're around him, he does control it better. Uh, but I, you know, it's, I was telling someone else, it's, it's not unusual for me to contact Dash at two, three, four, five o'clock in the morning. If I'm having a rough night with Jalen and Jalen can't go to sleep and he's taking away, you know, I call him for advice because I choose not to medicate Jalen. The medication has, has a big side effect, which can cause, you know, a lot of heart issues, uh, you know, Jalen has Tourette's. His his body physically is okay. He he's a little bit flaily, and his gait isn't exactly normal. But he's got a great heart, and I'm not going to give him something that could could damage that. So we choose to deal with it naturally as well. I do want to um, announce what the phone number is for people if they have questions for you. If I I hope that's okay. At one eight seven seven eight six four forty eight sixty nine. And, of course, all of our broadcasts are on iPod and um, iTunes and podcasts. There we go. Uh, I, when we get back from the break, we're going to go for a break in a second. I do want to talk a little bit about what kinds of things you want kids to know, how to approach Jalen. And, Jalen, of course, I want to ask you, what do you want your friends to know in school? I heard that you had some really negative experiences in the public school and I also just happened to have interviewed um, people from the autism community, a parent who wrote the book, The Friendship Puzzle, similar situation with a child who had autism. So I, you know, I was hoping that, Jalen, you can give us some, some words of wisdom here and tell us what kids need to know and how parents can help their kids learn. And, Dash, of course, we'll talk about your end here. And I really appreciate you calling in from the uh, Pacific Coast. It's bright and early where you are. It is very barely. I am, I am so sorry. No, it's fine. Okay, well, you go get some coffee. We're going to music right now. <laughs> Welcome back to Learning and Laughter with Louise on Toginet. This is the Hello show here. where we always keep it light and okay, lively, we're we're covering the whole gamut of topics, from education to entrepreneurship, with a healthy dose of laughter. It's Learning and Laughter with Louise on Toginet.com. Here again is your host, Louise Sattler. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It is my extreme privilege to be talking with Jalen Arnold, his mom, Robin Arnold, and their pal, Dash by Hawk who is, by the way, starring in the new and successful TV series with Julianne Margulies, The Good Wife. And we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. But first, Jalen, you just came out of the hospital, and I understand you had quite an ordeal there. You well, just went through yeah. some testing? What did you say? You just had some testing that was pretty serious? Oh, yes. Yeah. They had to put, like, a needle in my arm. And then 
I went and laid in like a little hospital bed or something. And then the guy put medicine on my arm. And then I don't remember what happened after that because I fell asleep so quickly. But it, it was really short, though. Oh, uh, yeah, he, he was put under general anesthesia, and he feels like he just went right to sleep and woke up. Oh, uh, well, sometimes that's the best sleep, isn't it? Yeah. Now, <laughs> now we, were, we were talking uh, about the bullying. So, Dash, did you have bullying experiences due to your Tourette syndrome when you were in school? Oh, yes. Um, I grew up in, in, in New York City, and I went to public school in New York City. So, uh, uh, not that New York City would be any more... Uh, uh, of a bullying environment anywhere else, but I, I, I like to think it toughened us up. Uh, it was, yeah, I got I got bullied all the time, and uh, it, it wasn't until I made it a point to, you know, have a discussion with my classmates, uh, which you know had to be facilitated by a teacher uh, to tell them that it that it subsided a little bit. But you know, kids are always going to bully kids. Kids are always going to be afraid of what is not natural to them, and and you're, you you got to expect to be picked on. It's just, you know, uh, how you deal with it when you come home and and, and, how you, and now these days how somebody like Jalen can start a website and, and get to tell the whole world and, and really do something for yourself so that you don't feel like a victim. Now, the and, two of you put together this wonderful public service announcement, a PSA, I really love it because you involve other children who may or may not have disorders of some type or learning challenges. Have you been getting a lot of positive feedback from that PSA? Hey, Louise, if I can interject on that. Sure. Actually, we have. Uh, we have gotten a lot of positive feedback on that. And actually, uh, some of the people that Dash was just speaking of that may have bullied him or made fun of him in school have actually made contact through Jalen's website and have actually apologized to Dash through Jalen's website. So it is reaching children and adults. That, that is stunning. That, that is brilliant that that would happen. And I bet you that gives you affirmation also, both Jalen and Dash. So Jalen, what kinds of things do you do to help kids learn about your uh, Tourette's? Do you, do you show them openly, explain to them what it's like to be ticking, or... Do you have um, something you share with them that you give to them, some sort of pamphlet, or what? What do you do? How do you explain it to them? Well, tell her what you do at the schools when you talk to the public school day. Well, I get in front of the stage, and when Dad is with me, he usually does some of the talking. <laughs> but in the middle of it, when he hands me the mic. I say hi. I introduce myself. I tell them my website, JamesChallenge.org, and then um, I tell them about Tourette syndrome. How something in your brain that makes you do stuff that you don't do on purpose, and then they raise their hands for questions, and I come on them and then pick on. Them. What do, what do you leave with them, Jay, before we leave? What does every child get? They get a book, and a bullying book, and um, a bullying no way book, and a genuine challenge just then. That's excellent. I, I wish that um, I had actually gone to a conference with children with Tourette's and adults with Tourette's syndrome, and I wish that they had also had a book to give out because as a psychologist, I would have loved to have taken that back to the schools when I worked one-on-one -on -one with students to explain why children were kicking or ticking like you do, even vocally. I, I've noticed you have a little bit of vocal tics, and that's all part of you. You're, you're a terrific kid that just happens to have tics, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 